Within the KU family, Margaret Shirk is really the quintessential Jayhawk and has so many ties with the history of our university. My grandfather was a school teacher in Missouri mm -hmm. and it was during the Civil War uprising and a bullet went through his jacket and uh, he started moving and he got landed right here. He leaves Missouri because of the bushwhackers and what was going on with the border ruffians and all that and really escaped Missouri. And so there's Margaret with this genetic gene pool of the very beginning of the border war clashes and all and her grandfather coming to Lawrence, settling uh, where she was born, where she lives today in 1865, uh, that's the very beginning of the university. While attending KU, Margaret got to know Fred Ellsworth and soon began volunteering to help at commencements and alumni reunions. You know, when I stopped to think about it, I, I thought the other night, I don't, I don't think, probably, that there's been a commencement that I haven't been to. I mean, helped with. I just don't know how it could happen that I would have missed one. I mean, I didn't do any big thing, but I'd take tickets or I'd sell tickets or I'd, you know, I'd do something with commencement and I'd see all these people. And that's one way I met so many people. Margaret became a part-time association staff member in 1945 working for almost 25 years, but her volunteer service has continued long beyond her employment. She has faithfully participated in the annual Gold Medal Club reunions. Certainly one of the most powerful uh, attributes that Margaret has in her association with the university is that sense of family and the friendship, and so uh, it, it really impressed me over the years watching the 50-year class and people coming back for their reunions and seeing those faces light up as Margaret knew them, knew their families, there were connections there, and all those connections came forth and it made that the alumni and people who return feel so tied to the university through her. Margaret met her husband, David, captain of the 1938 KU football team at the gas station where he worked. During his career as a high school teacher and coach, they lived in Augusta, Abilene, and Topeka. Following his retirement, the Shirks returned to Lawrence and the family farm where they helped create countless memories for generations of Jayhawks. Another great KU tradition is certainly Shirks Barn. Uh, there are, we have over 40 years of KU students who have had uh, great memories, fond memories of, of their times at KU and being at Shirks Barn. One time I was gone and I came home and there was this car out in front and I thought, well, that's a strange car. And I came in and pretty soon knocked on the door and uh, I said, well, do I know you? And she said, well, I doubt you remember me, but I remember you. <laughs> they love the youngness of, of people, but I think it kept them young. You know, it kept them busy and everybody loves to be busy. And that's the last basketball game he saw. The Shirks have contributed to the university through KU Endowment as members of the Chancellor's Club and they supported Kansas Athletics through the Williams Education Fund and as season ticket holders for football and basketball. Margaret still attends KU games. Everybody uh, is, is sort of really inspired by the 97-year-old Jayhawk who she dolls herself up with those Jayhawk earrings, has those red patent leather shoes and wears blue and comes to the KU games and is enthusiastic and is just a wonderful cheerleader. She's really part of this history. Um, she and David were to so many games. Margaret still continues to come. Um, she's not driving anymore but she has somebody bring her to games and she just does not want to miss because it's all so special to her. I love going to the games with Margaret and, and uh, sitting there with with her in the chair and the same people come over and say hi to Margaret. She, uh, she's one of a kind. 